sky blue type. So I'm gonna add it to it up here. And it'll kind of come down into it here. Again, I will leave some sparkles up here for one reason or another. It doesn't really matter right now. Um, now, now I'm going to paint uh, into I'm going to paint paint into wet right now because and I'm going to use something different that we haven't talked about. Uh, one of the workshops I said one of the women said, "Oh, you've got fan brushes. I didn't know you could use them the way you're going to use. I'll show you what I do. We'll take. I need to paint. Um, this is a winter scene, so." The, uh, I'm going to start putting trees and things in here. This is just a blue or a, almost, a, almost a neutral gray, but it's going to change in a minute. I'm going to add a little bit of orange to it. And again, the light's coming from here. Very important to establish, I just didn't say. But I'm going to also add a, add a little bit of green because we will get some green, even in the winter we'll get some green. This is kind of a, I got to even show. Okay. Nice thing about this palette. Oh, nice. I can, because um, I need a, I need a clean area. This is the nice thing about this paper. You see what it's doing? It's taking it up, you're seeing it, so I'm, just kind of adding these colors to it. I trying to kind of keep the keep the the, the lines of the um, the sight line right here, the horizon line. And I'm going to work up into this a little bit with a different set of colors. But you're not going to see in the winter if you see things like this then what you're going to end up with is, I mean, it, it is late winter or early winter, one or the other, you know. I'm going to put a tree in here that doesn't have leaves on it. But you get forest areas and things like that, which will have, and this is planned, I've done this already, <coughs> I've painted it like this already. You saw it yesterday, actually. Um, and I'm going to bring this stuff down so that I can make these, houses um, be part of, the houses will stand out because of the background. Oh, it's got a little, uh, it's a little stink on it from my other brush. I'll leave it. It's okay. It won't hit anything. Too, it's too green, so I just added a little bit of, of a brown to it, which just added it, made it more natural looking. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep the, um, the horizon line is kind of sacred here because it's a snow scene. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm gonna leave some sparkles up there. Okay. That's oh, purple. One reason I have quinacrin in gold, that's what this is, is it makes a great green color. It's a kind of um, deep, almost like army green color or something like that. I love that color. Uh, in some, some when you're doing this kind of, this kind of a winter scene or a scene that's not, I wouldn't use this much for something done during the summer. Now, you know, you, we talked about this now. I didn't, I'm not reading this one. I mean, I know I've done it enough times and I'm, I'm just doing what I remember, that's all. And it'll be different than the other times, there's no doubt. And I can do, I can use my car to do a couple things in it. This little one, I wanna be careful not to make it too big. Ah, it's too high. Anyway. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a tree, wouldn't be that high, that, that far the back, so. Okay, now, second part is,
put some water in that for me, please. Thank you. About three quarters full. Okay, I'm going to use my orange. Thank you. And this blue together. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to put more blue in this. Thing. This is indigo that I'm putting in. That's a blue. Another kind. Okay, let's put a little in there. Again, leave the sparkle. Don't be worried about it. Too intense. I can still use that color. So you use Quinn, what were your colors for the brown? Um, it was a brown I made with um, for, with with orange and blue. Okay. Yeah. See, what did you say? Wasn't it Kodak? Yes, it was. Okay. Yeah. What is that? I'm going to add a little blue to this, just a little bit. So it gives it that kind of nice gray color. Is that ultramarine blue or? Uh, which one? Oh, um, that's the mm -hmm. that's the old blue. That ultramarine is right here. Huh. Now I have to do something else right now. Too much. Make one of these be a little bit bigger, and they're like bush. They're like a just a branch growing. No tree, no leaves on it now. Okay, now I've got to go back in because I work from back to front. I put that in here because I'm not going to work around it. I'm going to leave this white here. <coughs> but I think we're going to it's going to. Uh, <coughs> Make this, excuse me. Do you need some water? Yeah. You got some? Okay. I left, the th I originally left the, uh, this area pretty much um, more, I don't know, lighter than this one. I'm going to make it lighter right now. <clears throat> I'm going to take some of this out. Still something there. Now the question is, what, what do we want the, the, the roof to look like? <clears throat> I think it'll make a. I think if I could make this a more of a red roof or an orange roof, like a make a red metal roof, that might work really well. So let's try. Thank you for the. She's getting it. Julie. Oh. Her. She took off. <laughs> it's okay. I was talking about the water for the paint. And again, I'm leaving a little sparkle just for, just for the purpose of, um, I'll be interested in how it looks like areas where there's just light. Notice this isn't a really bright orange, but it's orange, and it'll work well with that, with that green. So I don't put my hand in the wet paint here. Oh, nice. Judy, thank you very much. And so then we'll, now I got to put this other, I have to put this other, uh, that there. 
pushing it. I should be, I'd be pushing it a little bit on stuff so wet behind it. Let's put a, um, I don't even know what to make that. Let's make it, uh, let me get that purple. I'll have to dry it before I do the other details on it. And now, uh, what did I say? Did I say the light from here or there? I can't remember. I think it's from here. Right? I could do it either way. I could do it either way. I could do it either way. Do it either way. Um, so I'll put a little more color into this. Just a little bit of stuff. Put something here. Now this is snow. So. Would you like a blow dryer? I don't need one. Thank you. I, I, no, I, that would be great. That's okay. It's snow, so snow will have a different kind of a, of a shadow. And if we're going to do this right here, we should put the dark, we should have a darker side on this one. Another one over here. Notice I don't really, I'm not really trying to make them look just like a certain kind of a house. I just. Okay. Um, so what I did was, just really quickly, what I did was, I have an object up here. Um, the road fork really helps with this whole thing. Got some color in the background. We've got this object, once I get it cleaned up, um, we'll finish there. But the biggest issue is, this looks like what, it, what this could be what I want it to be, which is, uh, trees and things off in the distance, and they, they either have either have aerial perspective, which is the, all the pollution in the air or whatever you see in between. Now this is probably not polluted where this is, but you know it's going to have something. So I also want maybe to be make it look like it's not empty. So I'm going to do some other things to it. Maybe hmm, let's put a full spectrum. 